Hello, this is Steve from SDR Play. In this short video, we're going to look at setting up virtual serial ports using some software called Comocom. By way of background, we sometimes need to set up virtual COM ports when we want other software to synchronize with SDR Uno. This could be something such as um, Ham Radio Deluxe or DX Lab, where we want the frequency to be synchronized between that software and SDR Uno, or it could be uh, something like FL Digi or some other decoding software, where once again we want both programs to be in sync in terms of the frequency that's being tuned. Now, in previous videos, we showed how to use VSPE, which is software from Etologic, uh, to set up virtual COM ports. The only downside to doing that is that while the 32-bit version is free, the 64-bit version will bring up a nag screen asking you to pay for the software. I've recently become aware of an alternative called Comocom, and uh, this is free for both 32 and 64-bit systems. So in this video, I'll now show you how to set it up on your PC. Okay, here we are on the PC, and the first thing we need to do is go to the uh, Comocom website and uh, download the software. It's actually on SourceForge. I'll put a link down in the description. So once we find the relevant page, we click on the download tab, or download button rather, and uh, eventually it will download the software for us. Windows asks us what we want to do with the zip file. I'll select open. And uh, here we see the folders for the 64-bit uh, and the x86 version. Um, what I need is the uh, first to extract the files. Extract all. And I don't really care where they get extracted to. Okay, so now we can run the uh, the setup program for the software. And uh, let's just get rid of some of these cluttered windows here so we can see what we're doing. And just walk through the uh, installation software. I'm going to leave these components at their default levels. We really only need the uh, one or the other pair for what we're doing here, but we may as well install all of it. Select the default folder for where the program goes. And we go through a few scripts here. Uh, installation complete. We go to next. And I'm going to launch the setup program. And uh, so we can see what's going on here. And you see we, by default, have a couple of virtual port pairs. Uh, one has the rather strange terminology CNC A0 and CNC B0 and then virtual port pair one, uh, the more familiar labels, uh, COM5 and COM6. So uh, we'll go with those and uh, just click apply and we're pretty much done. And the next step is we can go over to device manager. And if we look in device manager under ports, we see that COM5 and COM6 have been set up as a virtual COM port pair for us, which we can use in other programs. So knowing that, we can then go to uh, SDR Uno, for example. And if we launch SDR Uno, the time we would use uh, COM ports such as this is when we're using another piece of software to control Uno. And the way that's set up is using the settings tab in the RX control window. And then on the cat tab, we were able to select a COM device here. So in this case, we set up 5 and 6. So let's pick COM5, do enable and connect, and status connected. So the VRX in SDR Uno is now connected to COM5. So if we want to control this with some other software, in that other software, we select COM6, which is the other uh, port that formed as part of the pair. And then that will talk directly to SDR Uno. And really, that's all there is to it. Uh, the nice thing about Comocom is it will be there waiting for you when you restart your computer, so you don't need to restart it at the beginning of every session. 
and really that's all there is to it so let's go back and have a quick review and we are done so that's it what we did was we installed a virtual serial port pair using Comocom having installed it we were able to verify the COM ports that had been assigned by looking in device manager and then once we go into SDR Uno we open up the VRX settings window and then the cat tab and we can select the desired COM port and connect to it. In the example shown we used COM port 5 and so if we were wanting to control UNO from some other software we would go into that software and select COM 6 and that would connect that software in turn with SDR UNO. This is also referenced in the user's manual which you can get to from the options button in the SDR UNO main window. In section 14 we talk about using cat control although in the examples there we used COM10 and COM11 whereas in this setup video we showed using COM5 and COM6. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please visit our website www.sdrplay.com and use the navigation bar at the top to get to our video and support catalog for this and many other videos and application notes. Thanks again for watching. 73.